Hey, this is Steve Halleck of TikToking. You can always find me and my watches at TikToking.com, and you can find me on Instagram at Steve Halleck. So today I want to talk a little bit about FP Journ and specifically early tourbillons. You guys know I've done several videos on these. I've had lots and lots of watches. I think I've owned about 35 of these so far. I've been buying them for over a decade and kind of shouting from the rooftops how great these watches are and people are finally starting to pay attention. But you know, of course, when anybody comes to the market, a lot of new people, there's a lot of misinformation. So I wanted to make a little video, just quick. I've done several reviews on these, but just going over things that people discuss, such as like variations and stuff like this. Um, I have today a very special early example, and we're gonna take a look at it while we talk. So why don't we just dive right in? This is an early model O1T. So people talk now about generations of Jorn tourbillons, and I think it's important to understand exactly how these were made. Um, Francois Paul was a uh, just a little independent uh, watchmaker in the beginning. Very few resources trying to make, uh, you know, the watches that he wanted to make. And in order to do that, his production logistics were not as kind of, um, shall we say, mature as they might be today. So basically, you have to get a bunch of parts from different suppliers. You know, nobody just makes everything. Um, and he would order them in batches, as you want to do. You know, you can't order one case at a time. And then as they were cased up, they were not necessarily cased in order. So you can see here, this is number 9801T. When you look at a Jorn serial number, the first number is of the sequence of how many were made. So this is the 98th tourbillon case that was made. Like, let's remember always where we're finding the number. It's on the case. 98th case that was made. And this one was made in 2001. And then the T is for tourbillon. Um, the new tourbillons, the dead seconds tourbillon, their model designation is TN for tourbillon new. So anything number number T is going to be a uh, tourbillon, remontoire tourbillon, right? Okay, so O1T, we know that's uh, early case batch, under 100, very early. Um, but now people have started talking about uh, kind of uh, generations or, uh, you know, I don't know, the, the first batch, second, third, whatever. And this is where things get a little bit tricky. Now, there's been a couple good online articles that discuss these to some extent, but I think they miss the fact that there are no hard and fast rules with these early journs. So in general... The first ones we all know, those are the subscription pieces, and those will say uh, number, number out of 20 on the dial. Um, and then the next earliest ones are uh, have a little bit of different print here, a little bit different print. Uh, they have a hole, uh, a poising hole in the tourbillon cage on that bridge. And the cock here for the remontoire is actually uh, raised and kind of rounded. So those are the next ones. Uh, after that, things get a little bit murky because basically what would happen is Jorn would have a case and he'd get an order, let's say for a white gold dial or a rose gold dial or a yellow gold dial or whatever, and he would just kind of grab a movement and grab a dial and screw it all together and put it in the case. And because the dials came out of different batches as well, they're not always sequential. So you can find uh, movements that, I'm sorry, cases that are close together in serial number that actually have dials that are clearly from different batches and from different suppliers. Um, so this is, I think, the biggest mistake people make is by thinking, you know, that, uh, that uh, number 98 is definitely going to have an earlier dial than number 99, you know? Uh, and this just isn't the case. So you kind of have to take each one on a case-by-case -case basis. Uh, for this one, you can see it's very, very early. 
And you can tell that by, of course, the, these big screws. There's some things that show that it's uh, one of the early designs, but also uh, from an early manufacturing batch. And there you can see this extremely grainy and shiny nature to the case. These kind of hand finishing lines that you can find on it. And then you see how there's like a little patina um, around the printing here. That's another kind of giveaway that they sort of vignette over time. Francois Paul, as production went along, tried to standardize the finishes, make them less prone to oxidize, less prone to wear. And so you actually find more kind of patina and variation of light in these earlier pieces than you do on the later ones. Uh, and that's something that is prized by a lot of Jorn collectors. Just letting you guys take a little look around here. Spectacular watch. Has such like vintage charm to it now. These are really going to be obviously modern classics. And soon to be, or maybe not soon, but eventually will be just classic classics. And uh, you know, important vintage watches at some time. Okay, so I hope that clears up some questions on these. The bottom line is, if you're looking at one of these, you have to just take it on a case-by-case -case basis. Obviously, uh, in general, earlier is better, so fine. But you really want to take a look at the dial and see what you've got going on. Let me wind this thing up and show it to you on the wrist before I leave. Oh, these are just so good. So comfortable to wear easy to read the time, big tourbillon, the remontoir is super cool, and these early dials are just spectacular. So, you know, for people who ask me what my favorite watch or something like that, you know, it's always hard to pick just one, but there would have to be an early Jorn tourbillon somewhere in the mix. All right, always good to talk Jorn tourbillons. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. I hope this outside construction noise wasn't too bad going on, uh, but this one's all about looking anyway. So anyway, that's all I got. Steve Halleck, TikToking, TikToking.com, at Steve Halleck on Instagram. Get yourself an early Jorn tourbillon. Everybody needs one of these. All right, see you guys later.